Hey guys and girls, whoa, whoa, whoa. welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny outside today. I thought we'd make a little example, uh, a continuation on inheritance. And uh, my voice is kind of weird today, so I apologize. It's just kind of uh, filled with some stuff and uh, it's just annoying. But I'll do my best. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a CPP file. ECPP file just like that. We're gonna call it main. Main. Just like usual. We're gonna include IO stream. IO stream using namespace std. Main. Actually, we'll move that std thingy uh, somewhere in a bit. Uh, system. Pause. All right, so we have the baseline ready. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make we're gonna make uh, another type of inheritance here. Uh, let's see, it's main. We're gonna do the same thing as last video, just that we're gonna do multiple. So we're gonna have one person class, a student, a teacher, a something else, and we're just gonna use several different ones. And uh, for that, we're going to need a class, a C++ class. We'll call it person, just like that. And yeah, person. And then, you know, actually, what we'll do, we'll do enemy. Or should we, no, we should keep it. We should keep it person, person. Let's do person. Let's do person. You know why we're going to do person? Because it's going to be easier to comprehend everything so let's keep our header files here and our cpp files here so what we're going to do is we're going to be including person everywhere so i'm just going to include uh, whoops namespace right in here or in here uh whoops what the hell's going on all right so there we go we have a baseline now let's start off by making person complete now again Pragma once, guys and girls, is just for Visual Studio. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. If you want to do this for code blocks, I'm sure you know how to do it. So skip forward. But if you don't, then this is how you do it. If and def and usually you write the file name. You can write whatever as long as these two are the same. Uh, you want to do the end if right there. If not defined person, then we will define it. If it's not defined, then we'll define it person h and it is just a preprocessor directive it's nothing special it's just that if this isn't defined then we'll define this and we'll end the if and you know this will only include you'll have to remove pragma once then but this will only be included once because it will define person if it's not defined uh, and yeah there you go that's why that's why i use it again a little recap but we'll use pragma once because we are in the Visual Studio. Now we'll do public and then private. Now what does a person have? Just like we used last time, we're going to be including string and we're going to have a private string name and a h. All right, no name and age and a telephone number or whatever you can add as many things as you want. Uh, we'll be doing a string name int age constructor, and we'll take that constructor, a beautiful constructor. We'll put it in here. I will say this name equals name. This age equals age. Boom. Um, uh, t what is a t where did the t come from oh no never mind okay we're good uh, it's just buggy so there we go person is pretty much done it's just we need public accessors accessors so we're gonna do a const string get name const and say return this name we'll do the same thing for our age 
So get h, and then just change that to an int and say age right there. Boom. So we're good because when we inherit person or from person, we will be getting these in our other class, but we won't be able to access them because they're in the private of person. So what we're gonna have to do is that's why we made these so we can access them outside, uh, and we're good. So we have a person class. Let's just go ahead. Now, I, I said last video that I'd make this pure virtual, and i show you how to do that. But first, we'll try to make a person object. Uh, we'll include person, person p1, and then say it's Bob, and it's... Oh, it's 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 a thing no uh, Bob is 26 26 because it's cool it's cool like me no I'm 27 actually damn I'm getting old dude Bob is cool like me it's 27 uh, just my phone rang uh, never mind let's see C out p1 no p1 dot get name just to check it out just see if it's working we'll use this C out thing later so it won't be wasted uh, let's see maybe just maybe everything works like we want yep Bob cool and uh, we're good so what happens now well we'll make another class called say we were building a program and we're like okay well what do we need well we need a student just like we did in the last video person public inline Alright, so we made a class student. Now, student is a type of person, right? Student is a type of a person. Now, what do we need to do? There we go. Why is this complaining right now? Okay, alright, so that's why. Um, we need to call this in here every time. Because when you do a constructor, for student remember that student is a part and person is a part and they both combine into this this one object so when you make a student object and it inherits from person you're gonna be making a person object and a student object together and they'll be s set together in a way so that's why you need to call the person constructor as well to give it name and age because we'll be sending that in from here string name string age and that's why you need to do this all right because these when you'll be using the student constructor you'll be giving a name and an age and that will in turn go into person and create the person object first and then go in here and take care of everything specific to student uh, so let's just go into student that h let's fix this constructor because everything in person is basically done right now we'll go ahead and and, and do pure virtual in a bit and uh, and yeah so there we go name or actually you know what we'll do we'll do that in the next video because it's it's too much in one, one video doing all this stuff but uh but yeah here we go so person name and age whoops int age sorry about that guys and girls integer integer so what does student have that a regular person doesn't have well a student might have a integer student ID like we had last time and a student might also have a what can they have a um, so student ID and for example come on give me some ideas credits or something and credits all right and uh, there you go so that's specific to student person does not have these but student has everything that person has and these two so this student ID equals uh, let's give it a int student ID and a int credits so that's our student okay and then this credits equals credits there we go boom we're good and uh, Credits, credits, wait, what is wrong with it? Oh, whoops. I always screw up in some way. There we go. So we're good. Now we have a student constructor and our things are initialized. 
and uh, we would want to maybe have a function which gets because student already has get name and get age so we don't have to do those what we have to do is uh, const int get student id all right and we'll do a const return this student ID so I'm just showing you this we won't be using these really but this is just to show you that you don't have to recreate everything from person only the private things you know because these were private we needed to make these but student has access to those through those functions so so we're good uh, get credits and then we'll just do credits all right, so I'm going to show you that this works by making a student class or student object. Oh, whoops. Um, student. Student S1. And we'll have uh, Steve. Yeah, Steve is 56. Steve is still a student. Steve has no life. Steve has a student ID of this and a 230 credits. I don't know what that is, but we're cool. And then we're gonna use this and just get, we'll get student's name. Oh, we'll get Steve's name. Whoops, what did I do? Insert s1.getName. And we'll get something that isn't through person. So we'll get credits. I will print this out. So we should get Steve and 230. So see how student inherited that variable and we can set it. Uh, so that's good. That's great. That is really good. So what if we have another thing, like another type of person, right? This is what we didn't do in the last one. We're going to name this a teacher. This is a teacher. It's a type of person, I think who is cool and stuff so we'll do include teacher and then we're private oh cool see there you go you're in the video now way uh, we'll do private and then thanks by the way and then here we go we have to call person here again because we're inheriting from person if we inherited from student we'd have to call the student constructor with all the four things right uh, but teacher is not a student it's a person and then we'll do name age and then string name int age and then what does a teacher have otherwise they have a string department is that how you spell it okay you know what i'm just gonna stay away from funky spellings int salary all right salary okay we'll just keep it simple salary all right and then string name int age int salary so it's just to show that they're different and then we'll make a const const int get salary go ahead and do return this salary make this const as well always good to have good habits and uh, we'll copy paste this into the constructor of teacher the definition see how they kind of go in here boom boom and then we'll just do this salary equals salary this salary equals salary okay I can remove that now uh, and there we go we have a teacher object or teacher class sorry that we can create so what we're gonna go ahead and do is teacher t1 uh, call him or her we can oops could be in her uh, Eve ha is is 20 25 okay I don't even know what I'm doing 25 uh, new teacher then what we have is a salary of maybe 20. 200 not two thousand dollars whatever I don't know that's a shitty salary but we're cool all right three thousand because we're nice all right and we have a teacher 
we're gonna do copy this go ahead in here replace this and then get salary all right and then I'm gonna show you guys something called polymorphism see we got even 3000 so they're all separated but they still stem from person now polymorphism is something I'm gonna show you in the next video actually uh, which will be a direct continuation of this one and then I'll show you in the video after that an example of uh, pure virtual so hell yeah this video is getting long so that's why I gotta shut it off but thank you guys for watching I'll see you in a little bit and take care keep learning and hell yeah bye bye